Hey, before this video starts, I just want to let you guys know to, uh, after you're done watching the video, just stick around near the end. I have, uh, I guess a bit of an announcement to make, so just make sure, uh, to stick around for that. Oh boy. <laughs> it's finally happening. I can finally talk about Selena and why she's amazing. Now, as many of you know, or are able to guess by my channel name and the title of this video, I really like Selena from Fire Emblem. Not the one from Sacred Stones, the one from Fates and Awakening. Now just to give you an idea of how excited I am to finally make this video, I've been waiting three years to make this. And there are two reasons for that. The first is that I didn't know how I wanted to make this video. Should I make a meme video talking about all the things I like about Severa? Or should I make a scripted character breakdown of her like Zerk Monster Hunter or Gas Station? Should I go all over all of my favorite support conversations that included her? It was really tough deciding. This is one of my favorite characters of all time. If I was going to make a video on her, I wanted to do it right and make sure I got across to the viewer just how much I like her as a character and why I like her so much. And I finally decided that I'm going to do it, hence why I'm making this. The second reason why this video was delayed for three whole years is because, well, I wanted to make sure I uploaded this on her birthday. Like, come on, what better day would there be to upload a video like this one? So yeah, today I'm going to answer the near five year long question, why do you like Selena? Why is Selena best waifu? So to answer this question, first I gotta start to where it all began. Back to my first Fire Emblem game. The first Fire Emblem game I played was Fire Emblem Awakening for the 3DS. Not a big surprise, I know. After Robin and Lucina were revealed to be new characters way back in Smash 4, my interest in the game was piqued for... certain reasons. And after watching Etika play through Awakening myself, I decided to buy the game myself and give it a shot. I ended up loving the game and its mechanics, of which the one that was most interesting to me at the time were the support conversations. Instead of playing through the game and getting them normally, I actually ended up watching most of them on YouTube. I was serious about all the different characters that Mel Robin could marry and wanted to narrow my choices down to maybe like four or five different ones, but that plan was completely thrown out the window when I saw Sarah's support conversation with Robin. I don't really have many words to describe what I felt when I first read it, but if I tried, they would probably be... Holy shit! Who is this rude-ass bitch? And why do I kinda like the way she's talking to me? From there, I saw more of her supports, and the more I read, the more she grew on me. There was something about this character that just drew me in. And yeah, you're probably thinking, Oh Joshua, you just like Sundrays and might be a masochist. And while I'll admit, I do love me some Sundrays, it wasn't just that about her that caught my interest. There was something more to this character, something that set her apart from all the other characters of that stereotype, and I couldn't discern it at the time, but being older and presumably wiser now, I'm confident that I can finally give my take on it. So what's Severa's deal? Why does she act the way she does? Well, the answer is that she is the daughter of Cordelia, a prodigy among her peers both in combat and intellect, even being called a genius by some. Being the child of someone like that meant that from the moment she was born, Severa would be compared to her brilliant mother. This is implied in her sea support with her. If you want harsh, try living in the shadow of someone who's perfect at everything. Trust me, it's a nightmare. Everyone loves you and respects you and thinks you're pretty and smart and strong. I'm just a big pile of dog food. This along with thinking that her mother abandoned her to fight for Krom led her to form an inferiority complex. For those of you who don't know, an inferiority complex is an unrealistic feeling of general inadequacy caused by actual or supposed inferiority in one sphere, sometimes marked by aggressive behavior and compensation. Hmm. Aggressive behavior, you say? Looks like we found out why she can be a bit grumpy sometimes. Being in the circumstance she was, every time she failed to do something, she would be compared to her mother, who could no doubt do it better. And whenever she did accomplish something, people would think it's simply because she's Cordelia's daughter. Of course she'd be able to do it. Completely disregarding her effort. You're not the only one of insecurities or a full-blown inferiority complex. What? Why should you feel inferior? You're Cordelia's daughter. She's hailed as a genius, and those doing the hailing are impressive enough as is. No daughter of hers has any cause to feel inadequate. Yes, I'm quite familiar with my mother's talents, thanks. 
That's just the problem. I fail to inherit any of them. I try and I try, and I still feel like I'm just barely keeping up. Severa. But I can't even get anyone to acknowledge my own effort either. Whatever I do, it's because I'm the great Cordelia's daughter. That's how it's always been. Oh sure, swans are all beauty and grace above the water's surface. Nobody bothers to notice that they're flailing their legs like mad just to keep afloat. Severa isn't confident in herself. Who would be in that scenario? She's scared of failure. It's something I can really relate to. Not to go into too much detail, but I know how it feels to have that mindset. To want acknowledgement from others, or at the very least, to want to avoid failure no matter what. I have been put in her situation before, having others expect something of me that I'm not interested in doing, but being scared to disappoint them. This is where Severus' character really shines for me. Being put in that situation, a lot of people would give up. What's the point in putting all your effort into something only to either fail and be chastised, or succeed but have no one there to say that you did a good job? Severa doesn't do this though. She always gives it her all no matter what. She didn't become a Pegasus Knight, she became a mercenary because she wanted to step away from her mother's path. She wanted to carve one of her own where she could be recognized for her talents and for being herself. She's doing it because she wants to. Living to meet expectations makes you lose sight of yourself. You have to live your life for yourself, not to please expectations you don't care for. Severa to me isn't just a typical Sundere character. She is a reminder that I shouldn't be afraid to fail for the sake of others. That if it's for something that you want, it's okay to fail. And it's okay to keep trying and trying until you get it right. Because in the end, it'll be worth it because it's something that you truly desired. Now, did the writers have this in mind when writing her support conversations? I'm 99% sure that they didn't. But they did do a surprisingly good job of portraying someone with an inferiority complex accurately. I truly do think that she's a character that a lot of people can relate to when you dig under the surface. Like I said, this isn't a character analysis video, it's the conclusion that I've made for myself. It's why I love this character. Among other things like acting like a kind older sister towards Noir, having funny dialogue, having actual development in her transition over to Fates, showing weakness and vulnerability to her friends, and having those friends tell her that she's wrong whenever she talks down on herself. There's a lot about her that I just adore. I'm glad that I played Awakening when I did and got to see this character. I mean, when you really think about it, I probably wouldn't have this channel had I not done so. So yeah, there it is. The four and a half year long question has finally been answered. So I'll say it one more time for you guys. Severa is best waifu. You're lucky to be marrying me. Just don't screw it up. If you've made it this far into the video, thank you so much for watching this. Uh, leave a like and if you enjoyed it, and please subscribe if you haven't already. It helps the channel out a lot more than you would think. So, like I said, this isn't really a, a Severa analysis type video. It's more just why I like her. Uh, I might try to do like an actual serious analysis, but that's that would have to be way down the line because, like I said, I'm not too well versed in that. But if you guys would really want me to, then I'll definitely try my hand at it. And I also want to let you guys know that I do have a Discord server. The link for that will be in the description. So you can go in there, you can talk to me, you can talk to everyone else. It's a bunch of cool people there. You'll have a good time. And I also have a Twitter, so make sure to follow me there if you just want to see updates on videos or just me posting and retweeting memes. I'm actually trying to take YouTube a bit more seriously this year. Last year, I didn't really have the time or the proper schedule to upload regularly but this year i want to focus more of my energy into making sure i upload more videos because at the end of the day i really do like making videos for you guys and so with that in mind i do have a goal uh, i just started my third semester no my fourth semester sorry in college and so i want to get 20,000 subscribers by the end of the semester right now i'm at 11,000, and i want to get to 20,000. um I just think having that goal will, will push me further and make me try harder. So that's something that I truly want to accomplish. So I would appreciate if you helped me out with that. 
So once again, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Uh, I started working on this video just last week, so it was a bit rushed, but I, I'm confident that I was able to properly express uh, the message that I want to get across with this character. And with all that being said, I hope you have yourself a good day. See ya.